found out about the Etihad program through my school and I thought it was a great opportunity. Where I really heard it from was my teacher. Um, she's kind of the person who convinced me to go and actually sign up for it. I heard about the Etihad program from a previous intern. And I got really excited because I learned that former classmates were also doing the program the previous summer. The application process was pretty um, straightforward, but I was really nervous, you know, getting my resume completed. Then when we got interviewed, it was kind of, there was kind of some pressure because there were two of us being interviewed at the same time. When I was selected to be in the Etihad program, I was ecstatic. I was ecstatic. I was so excited. The days leading up to the first day, I was quite excited. But then specifically on the first day, I got particularly nervous. Nerve wracking. I was nervous along with all the other interns. I got to know my manager and my mentor. They were really nice and they told me that not to worry about anything because uh, they'd help me through the whole process. One of my smaller projects was emailing invoices to be processed and then at one point the emailing department on the other side shut down so I was worried that it was a problem on my side but then I talked to a couple other co-workers and they also had a similar situation so I was able to forward emails to a different person kind of get a loophole around and figure out how to still get the emails through in time before the end of the quarter and get it done correctly and efficiently at the same time. I'm working in both finance and, and marketing so I'm taking two different angles and I'm really liking um, the experiences within them. My mentors have been helping me and have been giving me advice that is helping me complete my projects more efficiently. Uh, there's a lot of information out there on the internet but there's nothing like working closely with someone who can answer your questions specifically. I've had one mentor for pretty much since the second week to the sixth week which is uh, Shweta and uh, I've pretty much been working on my SQL project with her and uh, I've been asking her a lot of questions because uh, I'm not very good with Excel. I never really use it in school so every time I press something wrong or I click something that I didn't know how to fix, I would have to go and ask her, but she was very nice about it, and uh, she made learning for me very easy. So Ruben and Larissa helped with many internal reports, so this was extremely essential. Ruben helped compile our month-to-date uh, cost per acquisitions, which we looked at every single day, and if there were any um, fluctuations in numbers, he was the first one to notify us. So he was an extremely essential part of our team. Larissa helped attend by attending meetings and providing key insights and a asking key questions that were really essential and extremely helpful. I think this internship allows them to experience different departments and they eventually figure out what they want to do and what they don't want to do. Uh, this also prepares them on how to behave in a corporate environment, etiquette, um, and also how to interact with people in a professional setting. The office environment and culture of Dun & Bradstreet is pretty lit. When I talk to people about my experience at Dun & Bradstreet, I, the first thing I mention is the incredible culture we have here. It's really, really laid back, but everybody still manages to be really productive and get their work done. That's part of their motto, work hard, play hard, which I really think is true and visible here. My favorite activity at the office is probably ping pong because uh, me and two of the other interns got pretty competitive and Basically, if one of us lost, we'd have to play again. I have been able to go to the beach and have lunch, which was very relaxing. There was also a beach cleanup day where we went down the coast and just got to pick up some of the trash that people had left. And then there was one day when we went with this first stop program and we just played a bunch of games with them. 
One of my favorite break time activities at Dun & Bradstreet was on Thursdays. We got to talk to other co-workers in the office and they told us about where they went to high school and their decisions and going to college and what they majored in. A lot of people just went with their gut and that was the right way to go. And there's always bumps in the road, but you shouldn't let anything get in your way. I've grown so much from this opportunity and I'm beyond grateful for the experiences that I've had here and the opportunity to be in a professional office environment. Since I'm in meetings all day with people from Austin and New Jersey, I learned that I have to be constantly taking notes so I don't forget things. The Dun & Bradstreet experience has definitely made me more confident in being in an office environment, which I had previously never felt. I've definitely been able to get a better understanding of what I specifically want in my future career. After the internship, I can pretty much say like every day I'm thinking about what I can do as a future career, um, how I can develop my skills in programming. One of the things I learned from mentoring the Etihad High School interns was how to keep an inquisitive mind. I really admired how they were always asking insightful questions and pushing us to answer creatively and stay on top of industry news. So I really enjoyed having them there day to day, pushing us to act more creatively and think diversely. I would tell the Dun & Bradstreet interns to not be afraid to fail. Failing is a way of learning, and there is no shame in that. And I would say make the most of this opportunity by asking questions, trying new things, and really just enjoying every single part of every single day. I would also add to that to remember the relationships that they built here. The relationship with their mentor could be very valuable going forward if they have questions or maybe want career advice in the future. The relationships that they built with each other, their fellow students, um, those are the things that really as they move forward in their last year of high school and in college could be really valuable for them. Larissa and Ruben, I wish you all the best luck and you were totally incredible uh, every single day and I am excited to see what the future holds for you. This is truly a transformational experience for these students and we could not be more grateful to Dun & Bradstreet and their Etihad program for providing it. We wanted to say thank you so much to the interns for choosing Dun & Bradstreet for their summer internship.